I'll teach you to laugh at something. Where do you get off? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rough Night Movie Podcast. Now, you may be noticing something. One, that his name is Bryce. And that mine is Totem Pole McGee. Okay. But uh, you might also notice that uh, there are two people who are normally here that aren't here. Mm. <laughs> Turns out. Uh, some people, when you say that they're okay to do a podcast on specific days, they can't do those specific days. And today is one of those days. Um, Allison's boss, uh, made her do some extra shit. Um, so she, uh, She's probably going to, she might, I don't know how long it's going to take her to get her stuff done at work, but it's been a while. And uh, Jonas took a, Jonas took a vacation. Mm. So, did I just spill on myself? Mm. I don't know. It felt like I spilled on myself. Maybe I'm just tripping. Um, so, it's just going to be me and Bryce today. And today, we're going to just be talking about, what are we talking about, Bryce? Um, global warming. Mm-hmm. Yep. Chicken nuggets. And uh grass. No. <laughs> the new stimulus. Yeah, I keep hearing about this. I don't know if it's gonna be a thing. Um We're gonna be talking about Home Alone 4, which is one of the wildest movies I've ever seen, and none of it makes any sense to me. But before we get into that. We will do our usual shindigs. Bryce. Yeah. Something positive. Something positive. Mm-hmm. Something positive. Um, I got uh, some uh, presents early. Uh, what, for you, the stocking? The stocking. Stuff from mom? It's probably the only presents we get from her. Um, but uh, also a hundred dollars from Nana or, or Nana, so that was yeah. You know, she knows you know what to get instead of stocking stuffers. <laughs> I mean, there was other things than just stock. It wasn't normal stocking. It's true. It's yeah. You got wireless headphones. Yeah, and I got beard care. It's true. Oh, that's a normal stock. And Kelsey though. got this mug, but she didn't. Uh, she, uh, she knew that I wanted it, so I took it because she gave it to me. Also, yeah, I was feeling the shade too there. Grim. Um, all right. Mine was. I gave my girlfriend her presents early. Mm. Gave Erica her presents early. Oh, did she? And she liked um. <sighs> Wow. Yeah. Which what were they? Uh a body care kit. One okay. of them like bo- um body butter and sugar scrub and stuff like that. Candle came in and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. And the other one was a set of oracle cards. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You saw. Yeah. When did you see? When I uh... I think it was last podcast you pulled around and you because we were talking about Oracle stuff. It was after the podcast you showed Allison the cards. Oh yeah, I forgot I did that. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. When uh, when my friends were on the podcast, now they're not. So. I guess I'm thinking of better days. Anyway, Bryce, you want to give a little breakdown of this movie? (laughs) Thank you, Graham. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, where do I begin? Probably the beginning, huh? No, no, no. It was was after that the 
the uh, stream. Erica. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so we are back in Chicago? He, yeah, we're with the McAllisters. But it's a different house, right? That's not the same house. I don't think it's the same house. <laughs> so they probably moved. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're back with the same, the same family. Uh, it's supposed to be the same family, but not one single actor is the same, obviously, because this is like 10 years later. It's just a movie came out in 2002. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but uh, it's, Macaulay, it's, suppo it's supposed to be like only a year. After yeah, the I guess movie or something like that. But yeah, anyway, uh, we're back with McAllister's after the, uh, that third movie, I guess, was a spinoff or something. Um, and. The parents, we learned that they're divorced. Uh, I thought he was dead. Kevin's parents are divorced. It's like, no dad this year. <laughs> no shit. Uh, Motherfucker kicked it. He's watching, like, it was really sad. He's watching, like, a uh, film of their past Christmases and stuff. When they're all together. Yeah, but um, uh, <clears throat> we learned that his dad, uh, he, his dad comes uh, to visit to tell the mom. I keep forgetting her name. Um, but, uh, he's coming to tell her that he is, uh, getting married already again. They've only been divorced. No, they're not even divorced. They're not, they've been separated eight months and yeah. the divorce isn't even final. And then we found out in the, like the next day that he's been planning, they've been planning to get engaged. Yeah. 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 So not only did he find a new girlfriend. It... Yeah. Is ready to marry her and hasn't even divorced in eight months. His previous wife, <laughs> Erica, sound familiar? But uh, yeah, I guess she's like some. I don't know, rich. I don't know what what she it doesn't. They don't explain, but she's also rich. She lives in this big house, and uh, I guess the dad is like moving in with her. Um, mm -hmm. And. Uh, he's like, yo, kids, I want you to come meet your stepmom, your soon-to-be stepmom. Let's have Christmas at my have... my place or my girlfriend's place. It, yeah, Someone's place that isn't their actual house. <laughs> um, and at first, um, all of them were like, no, you know, I want to be together with our mom. Um, so he leaves and he's like, uh, it's an open invitation. Um so, uh, uh, they're still Buzz and Megan, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, they're still there. Um, but as uh, the mom has to leave to go to an appointment or something, and Buzz is watching over Kevin, and of course Buzz picks on him, blah blah blah. Kevin's back to hating his family again. And he does I wish the same I thing. I was an only child. He says the same thing. But there's no like cr cr magical Christmas no, no, no. magic or anything like that. He just, just straight up leaves. He just grabs his piggy bank. He takes a taxi to his dad's place. No. <laughs> Who was about to get fuck? Yeah. When Kevin shows up. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. They were. And yeah. no, he didn't go to his his place. Well, her place. The place that they're living at. <laughs> yeah, he went to his girlfriend's place, mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a. Well, it, I guess it's in Chicago still, right? Yeah. Well, like know. suburbs of Chicago. Yeah, I guess. I guess they're already in suburbs. But um, but takes taxi. Yeah, yeah. Takes taxi. He <laughs> just shows up. He's like, yo, dad. What's up, pops? Just took a taxi here. Um, And uh, yeah, so. Still uh, cool if we hang out? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, we'll look. Uh, I got this cool. Uh, it's it's cool here. It's a smart house. You can control everything. Yeah, yes. With your voice, which seems very convenient and inconvenient at the same time, because you always have to have a device with you. You can't open anything if you don't have the device. And um, you can have multiple. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how locked and secured the house is. And it's not voice record. It's not is anybody. Anybody can just can say, say open door and it'll <laughs> open any door in the house. That's just yeah. Also, Graham, do you mean in the first one or this movie? Because in the first Probably one, the it's whole very or in the, in this one, it's very rushed. <laughs> um, like ever, <laughs> ever, because he's a little shit. And kids always wish that they didn't have to share anything with anybody. <laughs> but um. 
yeah, the the stepmom's uh, she's like giving them, you know, spoiling them, giving them a bunch of because ah. she's rich. Um, and she's like, yo, look at all the stuff we got here. Uh, it's all you can all, all you ever need. You know, all these cool toys and gadgets and stuff. And seventy individual TVs on this <laughs> wall. Um, so while uh, ap- apparently uh, his dad and soon to be stepmom are also busy people. And they got to leave um, as well to go. Oh, yeah. It's almost Christmas and they're hosting a party that apparently this royal family is going to be a prince there is going to sh- be there. Um, but just the prince. What? Just the prince, I guess. Well, well, it was his parents, it, right? Well, his it, I guess his mom is there as well, but they don't say anything about the queen. <laughs> the king, queen, Dutch, or whatever. Duchess. <laughs> uh Yes, yeah, they're only interested in them. But um, as the dad and uh, the soon-to-be stepmom are leaving to go to work, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the Marv is back, but he also has a girl wife. No, they're married. He has they a wife. are married. He also has a different face. Yes, again, <laughs> completely different actors. This is uh, this is them. <sighs> This is Kevin McAllister. That's Marv. And Marv. That's a new character. So, um, but yeah, um, of course, they're planning to break into the place, but they're not, they're not stealing. stealing. They're not burglars. They are planning to kidnap the <laughs> prince that's going to show up. They're committing, uh, I'm sure, several international laws yes. <laughs> and could go to federal prison. Um. And so I think it is. I think it is a t- guy from Time Stoppers. Uh, so they like as they're leaving and the door is closing, they just kind of walk in yeah. as the door is closing. Terrible security at this place, like I said. Um, and yeah, they get into the house because and you'll find out later why. But he uh, Marv has a remote and he can just control everything but also has an inside man yeah he does have an inside man um uh there's only two people there with kevin and that's the maid molly and um the butler uh what's prescott. prescott news um so it's one of them uh and kevin thinks it's prescott because he's like in charge of the cameras and he'd be he's like really being really weird so um but yeah, they get in and Kevin, you know, of course, it's home alone. Do some antics. He uh, turns on the shower that has the um, water pressure of a fire truck. You li- <laughs> of a fire I, hydrant. You literally fucking drown <laughs> if you got in that shower. Uh, in order to- as they yeah, as they walk into the bathroom, he like turns it on. And he's drowning them in the bathroom. The whole house is flooding. Um, and. As that's happening, they the the dad and the stepmom they show back up. They come home. Uh, they weren't gone very long. Um, and they're like, "What is happening? Why is our uh house flooded?" Um, and Kevin's like, "Yo, there were the bad guys. Um, the bad guys. There, yeah, I know. I knew you know, one the of the guy them. that's." That's been get- <laughs> for the past three years. Has been trying to kill me. A new one, a Marv. You know, remember Marv? Um, and that, of course, they don't believe him because if they did, then they wouldn't have a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, True. And, he, and he's like, "Yeah, it's Prescott. Prescott was helping him." And of course, Prescott's like, "What are you talking? I was on the cameras the whole time. Didn't see anything." And they have a stern talking to Kevin. Uh, and she's like, we know you're getting divorced. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your parents are getting divorced, not you, Kevin. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's like, oh, it's whatever. Just apologize. What's a what's a bit of water damage, even though their whole house is flooded. And Literally, take... like the whole first floor <laughs> yeah. is in standing that would take water. So much to clean up and repair. Um, but yeah, so. Go back and uh, to normal. Uh, but obviously, Kevin's like, they're going to come back. Now I'm going to be ready. Um, so 
<sighs> oh. Yeah, so they're getting ready for... Uh... What's going on? Oh, no, no, no. After he he, uh, he talks to Molly, the maid, and he's like, I think Pr uh, Prescott is the inside, inside man. man. And uh, and Molly's like, yeah, yeah, wh whatever. Your, your kid's over. You're tripping. <laughs> imagination. Um, and yeah, it's a little time passes. Uh, nothing really going on. Um, but it's uh, it's Christmas Eve, right? It's Christmas yeah, Eve. Yeah, I think so. Um, and they're preparing for the uh, party. yeah, for the party, the dinner for the royal family. Um, and Kevin sees uh, Marv and his wife show up in do this chefs, yeah, uh, chefs gear and stuff for pretending to be chefs, and they plan to kidnap the in a sack and do whatever this is ha was ha whatever happening right now they plan to do that to the prince <laughs> the prince um oh yeah prescott literally gets frozen in yeah, ice. yeah. <laughs> i forgot about that kevin locks him in the, the cooler um but uh as the dad and stepmom are going to the airport to pick up the family they call and like we got snowed in our flight got canceled we gotta come tomorrow so they drive back to the home and they're like well, what are we going to do? How is it going to be a cool party? Let's announce our engagement to the whole place. Yes. Uh, and as they do that, um, there is this huge commotion between Kevin and the burglars going on in the kitchen. There's like they're lighting on fire with the stove. They got fondue and chocolate, uh, like hot fudge spilled all over them. Yep. But no one hears anything. No one hears anything. Um, the burglars get away, and Kevin gets yelled at again, like as usual. Yeah, Kevin, why'd you do that? Um, and so he's like, "All right, Prince, come back next day." Yeah, yeah. And Kevin's like, "All right, I, I, I gotta, I'm gonna take this into my own hands." So he sets up, you know, traps. Um. Wow, they literally in the trailer show who the actual inside man oh. is. <laughs> uh, yeah, the next day it's Christmas. They're like, uh, all right, we got to go pick up the prince to, I don't have Christmas with them. Um, Some but, oh, Moana. Yeah, so um, after the dad and stepmom leave, Kevin has the idea because he thinks Prescott's the inside man. He has this idea to lock Prescott in the wine cellar. And he does that successfully, successfully. And he's like, <clears throat> and he's like, oh, Molly, Molly, I locked him in. Uh, and Molly's like, that's great. You want to know why? Because I'm the inside man. What a twist, right? <laughs> um, and so Molly locks him inside the wine cellar uh, as Marvin, the, uh, his wife, shows up and um they're just waiting. I guess they're waiting for the prince to come yeah. back. Um, and Ke uh, Kevin's rigged the whole house. Yeah. Ke uh, yeah, with traps. Um, but they're going to figure out how to get out of the wine cellar. He calls his mom from Prescott's cell phone. Um, but uh, they're in the wine cellar, so they don't have service. or she can't hear. And then the phone dies. But uh, his mom is a, like, you know, a little sketched out by that. The first movie where the, the parents are like, <laughs> Something's weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he does. He, and the mom calls the dad. Ah. And it's like, something's weird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so they both head back. Yeah. Dad abandons his new wife. At the airport. He's like, you pick him up. I'll go see what Kevin's. I got a bad feeling. Um, but as that happening, as that ha as that's happening, Prescott's like, oh, the dumb waiter. Let's hope it still works. Move these boxes. Kevin, get in the dumb no waiter. Problem. No, literally no problem there. Yeah. Puts him in, hits the button, goes up. And Kevin's out. Kevin's out of the wine cellar. Um, and he... House shenanigans. Yeah, yeah house shenanigans. Prescott, uh, as that's going on, Prescott climbs literally up the dumbwaiter. Muscles yeah. his way up the dumbwaiter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and uh, the mom is like, we got to go see what's going on. So she brings uh, Buzz and Megan um in a minigame band she's speeding and they all get there 
as the cops are there. Yeah, the cops are there. Uh, they um they trap where did they trap? They trapped them somewhere. They trap? Well, no, they didn't trap them anyway. They knocked them out. Oh, that's right. That's they just right. straight up knock them out, and they're just on the floor. Mm-hmm. And then um, the they, family gets there. Yeah, they call the, the, cops. the cops. Aren't there just yet? Yeah, they call the cops, and but the family gets there first. Yeah, yeah. As they're driving down the road uh, with the royal family. The cops drive by. They're like, what's going on? Um, and uh, yeah, so the, the dad, uh, after all this happens, after they're, they uh, kidnap, uh, I mean, after they arrest Molly. Uh, after the police kidnap Molly. <laughs> uh, Kevin's like, yeah, I, I told you, you know, is well, I, I told you it was Prescott, but it was Molly. Uh, and Prescott's like, you're going to have to find a new butler as well. Cause I'm quitting because I hate my job because you suck. Um, and the dad is like, you know what? Also, uh, your maid left, your butler left. <laughs> the prince doesn't want to hang out with you because you don't have any kids. Also, you know, I thought about it and uh, you know how I said that I loved you and I wanted to marry you. Um, well, I don't. Yeah, I'm going to uh, stay with my wife. I, I miss my family. So, um, so yeah, they, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, they go, he goes back. Right? They um, leave. What's her name? Uh, what's her name? Susan B. Anthony. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Starts with an M. Uh, Who? The stepmom. Mary? No, no, no. Not Margarita. <laughs> I don't know. Um. But yeah, they leave her alone. Uh, they uh, they go back to their house and have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That the new mom definitely got the fucking shit in of, of all of that for no reason. She literally did nothing wrong. Yeah, she's a a little bit of a, a little bit of a jerk here and there. Uh, I mean, mainly because she thought. Kevin was trying to like sabotage their relationship relationship, which kids do. Yeah. (laughs) She definitely could have handled it better, but yeah, she did. She definitely didn't do anything wrong. Her whole life. But on Christmas Day lost her house is all messed up. Lost her maid butler. The probably her relationship with that of a royal family. This is. Yeah. And her in uh her fiance her fiance i mean that's what you get for having someone who is married yeah propose to you <laughs> probably like it's been eight months and they're still not separated yeah so if someone's like hey you want to get married i'm not i'm i still have to divorce <laughs> this chick but <laughs> yo some paperwork to do and stuff but you want to get married <sighs> Yeah. But yeah, that was the movie. What would you rate this movie, Bryce? It just it wasn't good, man. Uh, the fact that they tried to re re revitalize the original after they already did a completely different family in the third one and stuff. <laughs> Grim. Uh, is probably like a four. Yeah, I I laughed a couple of times. There was um, some there was sometimes with the scene where uh Kevin McAllister is in the butler's like headquarters because it's like room slash security room where he can like see the uh see all the cameras around the house and stuff like that. And uh I keep hitting this fucking thing here. Um Kevin's in there <clears throat> and the camera is in like like predator mode where it looks like someone's walking up on him and he gets closer and closer and Kevin turns he goes ah! and the way it's edited like in mid scream it cuts to Prescott and Kevin stops screaming and he goes what are you doing <laughs> just like in mid scream like ah what are you doing yeah completely cuts his scream off <laughs> and then it cuts good. back to him and he's like Nothing. But uh, speaking of the, the Predator camera 
I hated it. I thought it was really weird. Yeah, there was movie. a lot of weird camera work in this movie. Like a scene would start just on the door <laughs> and then it would zoom out real quick and everyone would be standing around the door ready to go in. Like just like weird choices yeah. like that. Yeah. So um and then there was a whole there was like a handheld scene when Ke- when Kevin was getting his breakfast in bed. Yeah. The camera was like yeah. moving and falling it was, around it was like, like with the tray. All handheld and stuff. Yeah. It's just super weird for a knockoff home alone movie. Yeah. And the, I I know that this is an actual home alone movie, but it's a this knockoff one, home alone. Four and movie. five went straight to DVD, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think I didn't the third one as well. No, I think that the third one was the last one in theater. Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar Tree Home Alone. Yeah. I mean, it's literally the same character. They didn't even bother with a different kid. Yeah. Like the third movie, it was a different kid, a different, different family. family. Different bad guys. Still Chicago, but sort like. Sort of different plot. I mean, I guess this one is a different plot as well as because they, they got, like, got divorced, but. But. It's essentially the same. Yeah, same I kid. The plot's always essentially the same. But uh, completely different actors. Yeah. Like, they, Every- they they just replaced literally everyone. It was like, no, no, no. Everyone's the same. <laughs> this is Marv. Pets Remember Marv? Kid. Remember how much you love Marv and how goofy he was and how likable? Same guy. Can't you see? And yeah, this guy was not Joe Pesci. That was disappointing. Well, Harry wasn't there. Huh? Harry was Joe Pesci. No, Marv was Joe Pesci. No, Marv was the sticky guy. No, Marv's Joe Pesci. Marv was Joe Pesci? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, they did a bad job in fucking in casting then because that looked more like Harry if the if the that looked more like the tall guy. Oh no, you're right. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. For some reason I thought. Um but yeah. I was I uh, I didn't like it either. I got bored with it because I was like, we all know what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mara is going to come in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kevin is going to ha- ri- have rigged the whole house with booby traps. And really, I think this was like the least intricate. And like fun when it came to the. Yeah, no, this uh traps and shit like that like yeah. he chained the elevator so it would get stuck halfway through he did that um the uh the pots he strung him the he pots strung up a pot the kitchen. Up, literally just a just a pot <laughs> that was it flooded the house like i said flooded the house but that that was like before the whole invasion scene yeah um that was yeah, just that, much that wasn't his ingenuity. He literally just turned on the shower. Yeah. And that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just turning on your shower and after a minute, your whole house is flooded. I also, yeah, he did the um, um when uh Marv fell, he like knocked one of the he knocked the faucet off the bathtub and like it kind of sprayed up and added more water to the that's why it flooded so fast in the shower, I suppose. Yeah, got it. Got it. I mean, even without that, though, he just turned it on yes. and it shot them out <laughs> yeah, of the yeah. room. Like if I was literally like a fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, their shower is a fire hydrant. <laughs> when you get home alone on Wish. <laughs> but uh, Oh, wow. A whole dollar. <laughs> wow. That's such a great deal. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, there really isn't like. There isn't a whole lot no. to say here. It, yeah, it just you know uh, I mean? it's it's knock off home alone. Literally, everyone's different as yeah. far as the cast. The The only notable thing is that the family actually recognizes that <laughs> Kevin might be right and that there might be something weird yeah. going on. Uh, after <laughs> third time to charm, I guess. Yeah, because they in the first two, they never like that was never a thing, right? They never, uh, the parents never saw the bad guys, right? No, no, they didn't know they existed. Yeah, they would just show up, and Ke- Kevin was just like chilling. Yeah, yeah. Even in the second one, he's just in that time in the our uh, at the Christmas tree, the mm-hmm. Rockefeller mm-hmm. Center. Yep, just yeah. chilling there. So, um, 
Yeah, this one. And even the 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 siblings are actually, uh, are actually nicer too. They are nicer. Buzz still with the weird uh insults. Yep. But uh uh what was this? Uh the Oh, one of the one of my favorites is cuz Kevin is not with the with Buzz, Megan and his mom. So it's just them three and they're decorating the tree. And they're like, "Kevin usually puts a star on." Mm-hmm. Uh um and everyone's like yeah but he's not going to this year because he's with his dad <laughs> and buzz is like yeah i usually hold him up there and he puts it on and everyone's like yeah they give him a wedgie in the meantime and the mom goes <laughs> he makes a fuss we all laugh like <laughs> you laughing what one of your kids what? the other kid to wedgie <laughs> Your son is literally bullying your youngest kid. And oh, <laughs> you're like, <Buzz. laughs> you kids. Oh, man. Uh, what jokesters. Um, but uh, uh, if offered the role, w- would you be in a new home alone? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'd be Kevin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what, what role, but yeah, I mean, I'd be in many movies. It's Home Alone 19. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know why am I... Let's see what's happening. What's happening? The, the, like, the color balance keeps changing. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about this movie. Well, the all the bad guys. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's it's Home Alone 4, you know, like, it's, uh, they did the same thing, but the parents are divorced, it, and it wasn't as cool, the, the, get the house rigging wasn't as cool. No, there wasn't any. Yeah, you see what's happened? Do you see it? Have you not been seeing it? I haven't seen it. Here, maybe not. Color balance keeps changing. Um. Oh, yeah, no, it's funny. <laughs> Uh, uh, Grim uh, says that we're both bad guys in this. Isn't this a new Home Alone? Both of us. Yeah. What are our, uh, our bad guy names? It's <sighs> a good question. I will be. I will be another recasted Marv. Okay. But Bryce will be my younger brother mm. that I never talked about in any of the other movies. Sure, sure. And his name is Starve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and together we make what would our ba- what would our bandit name be? We'll be the well, homicidal bandits. And we're we literally are, I've I've moved from common burglary to kidnapping royalty. Okay. To just straight up killing people. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's progress, you know? That's a it's, it's the next logical step. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, my idea. Okay. See, I say... I say... We bring Harry back, right? Okay. You're Harry? Yes. I'm Marv. Well, no, no, no. Marv's not here. Ooh. Yeah. Bring Harry back. Okay. And you're Harry. I'm Harry. Styles? <laughs> uh, I'm liking it already. Uh, pretty heavy. Uh, and I, but uh, Harry's pretty short, right? So Harry's I got, kind of, yeah. So I walk around like, like scrunch, scrunch all the time. Just, uh, uh, with your shoes on your knees, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, like halfway through the movie, it's just me, right? I'm planning on like robbing this house. Okay. And halfway through this movie, you show up, and your name is Barry. Okay. <laughs> and uh-huh. you're also planning to rob the same house. Okay. Yeah. And uh, but you're like seven feet tall. <laughs> and Marv's like five foot, you know. Uh-huh. And together, 
Well, well, we like meet up in the same house. We're like, yo, what are you doing in here? I'm robbing the place. But, you know, get to know each other, you know, in usual movie stuff. Yeah. Um, and together we make, I'll come up with the name of. I can't. One and a half bandits. I was trying, <laughs> trying to come up with a height thing and I couldn't. So. Yeah. You have to ask. Uh, you're gonna have to ask the writer about that one. Oh, you're gonna get a different writer. Yeah, I see. I see. All right. Oh, pop my back. I oh, know. <laughs> so so much build up. It sounded like the whole thing was leading towards a joke, and Bryce was like, "Yeah, and I don't know what the." I was, trying, I was really trying to think of it uh, while I was telling it. I couldn't. Uh all right. We're gonna do. We're gonna do so, guys. And if we want to talk more about the movie, you can talk more about the movie. But um, we'll do we'll do box office, which I there actually isn't because yeah, it's straight to DVD. Straight to DVD. There's a budget though, right? Let's see. Hold on. Probably a budget. Oh, that's just the Home Alone franchise. Who's a girl I see? Uh, we'll we'll go with a different one since I don't think there's no box office, but it's <gasps> how fresh. Okay, off the tomato the to tomato meter. Critic score. Yeah. No, no, no. User. Yeah. So yeah. So critic critics first, and then we'll do audience. Um, fifty two. Fifty two. Yeah. There is no critic score. Okay. <laughs> it is NA. All right. <laughs> but there is an audience score mm. of 47,000 user ratings. 47,000. It's a good amount. Um I I think it's probably like 63 user score. Oh, well, there, audience. there are two there are two critic ratings, though. Hmm. Recycled gags with none of the original charm. Rot. True. From the unappealing, cheapish opening titles to the murky production value, it's immediately obvious Home Alone 4 isn't playing in the same park as its beloved predecessor. Sad. Rotten. It's true. Uh, anyway, audience score? 63. 63, huh? Mm-hmm. Well... Hi. Hmm. Wow. You are high. I thought you know, I thought people would, you know, I thought it'd be like a Halloween Town situation. Yeah. Where <laughs> people rate it higher. Um. And the the only negative ratings are the the, the <laughs> DVD was ruined. Their DVD order was ruined. Oh uh, man. Um. Okay. Forty five. Twenty four. Wow. That's that's pretty low for an audience score. That's pretty crazy. I agree with it though. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I probably <laughs> rate it lower. You think so? Yeah. Um. Oh, let's see if there's any alternate titles. Probably not. Oh, yeah, four. straight to DVD. Huh? Straight to DVD. I mean, how many countries did it come out in? Yeah. Well, I'm not doing the languages. It was called Taking Back the House. Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House. They didn't have a, su a subtitle for it, did they? It was just Home Alone 4. Taking Back the House. Oh, that was actually, that was the title? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know it. Well, wow. but wait a second. That's, a, that's kind of misleading. I never lost the house. <sighs> True. They were always there. I guess when they get lost in the, I mean, locked in the wine cellar. Um, oh, I think it's on IMDb, isn't it? Where Jonas gets that? Mm. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, you got anything else to say about this movie? Um, not really. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, just wasn't good. Uh, just, they they tried to copy the first two, but very poorly, and it just wasn't good. 
Uh, all right. Well, let's move on to what are you, are you enjoying anything this week? Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Not really, but I I uh found this song from TikTok. Yeah. Um. It's a mashup of um. Uh, smells like Teen Spirit. Uh, by Nirvana. 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 <laughs> and uh, I, it's a, a pop smoke song, but I forgot. But um, pop smoke. Yeah. Okay. But um, it's like the beat behind. It's like that that beat, like the. the I'm familiar with mashups. And yes. Nirvana singing smells like Teen Spirit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh, it goes together pretty well. Does it? It's pretty. It's pretty good. You don't have it, do you? Yeah, probably, I actually probably can't play it. I yeah. Probably shouldn't play it. Probably not. Even though Jonas regularly plays songs that end up getting the YouTube video demonetized in every country. Have you seen some of the the stories of uh, uh, DMCA uh, on Twitch? Lately, no, huh? It's getting, getting kind of crazy. So this is, oh, yeah, <laughs> smells like drill spirit. Load yeah. up on guns, bring your friends, find to nerves, the two protect. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, resident lore master, you are quick on the fuck on pulling shit up there, Graham. It's like someone will mention something and you already got it in chat. It's pretty good. Um, me, me have been. Mm-hmm. Me. The things that I have been trying this this week. Are a thing. Uh, what? Um, <clears throat> I had something. Mm-hmm. I was remembering it today. I was like, I'm going to mention that on the podcast. And I don't remember what it is. So instead, I will say. I've been uh, joining my uh, my my D&D group. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, how long have I been playing? Like eight months. Since March, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty like steady just about every single week for that long. And which is pretty rare, I feel like. Mm-hmm. And like everyone is usually there, which is really fucking nice. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what that's what they just appreciate my, my friends and my hobbies and. Stuff like that. Uh, so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Um, well, Bryce, hmm. I think what we'll do, since we have half the guests, yeah. we're, we're going to do half an episode. Okay. So, uh, I guess, tell the people where they can find you. Well, you can find me. At, uh, go follow my YouTube channel. It's uh, XX B, uh, below XX. So, I'm just kidding. That's uh, it's not. That's probably not a channel. It's not my channel, at least. If it is a channel, <laughs> um, so don't go subscribe to that if you don't want to. Uh, unless you want to, unless you find it really cool. Um, below, yeah, like six. That. Sure. No, I could. I could use that though. I could make that my channel. <laughs> so uh, it's good to know. Um, it's a joke. You find me at uh, Bryce L Kelly on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, <laughs> if <laughs> any variation of it. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. Oops, not what I want. 
not what I want. Um, that out of here. Yeah, now we ha now we have to make it a channel before someone takes it. Uh, you can find me, Kyle Kelly underscore, or just you know, t uh, tomorrow night. You might hear a little pitter patter on your rooftop. Don't worry, it's not a burglar. It's just me leaving your presents under oh, the dude. tree. I forgot it was Christmas Eve tomorrow. Yeah, I know, right? It's like this year is just a complete wash. Yeah. It's like almost over. Literally Christmas. I feel like a week ago, both a week ago and a hundred years yeah. ago, we were all told that we had to be in quarantine for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And now it's Christmas. Because <laughs> it feels like everything's just run to get like mashed together. Like literally. We can mark how long the whole pandemic situation's been mm -hmm. from the start of our campaign. Yeah. We sure. started yeah, cause <laughs> our D&D campaign. I think we did. Like the week everything was starting. Eight. Everyone was like starting to freak out. And then we got two in-game sessions. Yeah. And the government was like, no one be near each other. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good times. Good, good times. times. Good times. Well. That's going to do it. Uh, you can follow uh, along if you would like with the Rough Night uh, shenanigans um, at on Twitter at Rough Night or at Rough Podcast. You can email at us, uh, Rough Night Podcast at Gmail. <sighs> Rate and review us on iTunes, and we'll be sure to read that. Uh, any ratings out? Actually, I haven't checked the iTunes in a while. Let's see. iTunes Rough Night Podcast. Let's see if we got anything. Uh, wow, we're a five-star podcast. Nope, nothing new. Last thing. The last thing was in 2019. Yo, from Ara Triple D, coolest hundred bitches around. I agree. Just true. So, well, yeah, it's probably the best review. Seventeen ratings, though. No, I mean, so no new um comments. Yeah, like no comments. Yeah, but if you leave it, we'll rate. Uh, we'll we'll if you yeah if you. Leave a comment Leave with your rating. Cool we'll read it out on the on the podcast. Um, or if you send us an email, be sure to answer it. If you have tweet, any questions, tweet at tweet at us. We're more, more than likely just gonna tweet <laughs> you back. But <laughs> if you want something, if you want content on the podcast, email or leave us a uh, iTunes review. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna get out of here. Hope everyone has a safe and lovely Christmas. You know, or any other holidays that you celebrate if you don't celebrate Christmas. Yakima. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a holiday, right? Yakima? <laughs> it's a city. So I know where Yakima is. Okay, it's I live it, it's, in the same it, state. It's, it's where uh, iCarly's dad yeah. was stationed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> Wait, uh, is that, what's it's what's the holidays around? It's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa. I feel like there's one that starts with a Y, but I can't. Yom think of Yom Kippur. Yes, is what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope everyone stays safe. I know uh, I'm tempted to have like spend time with a big group of your family, but don't do it because still a pandemic. Still, unless, you, unless you live in the same household, then you're all right. Correct. And if you and only if you've been in the same household yes. for like at least a couple months, I know the vaccines are coming out and everything's starting to seem safe, but still a pandemic. People can still Until die. You and everyone you know gets that vaccine. Stay in your house. Less than six. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Loves, don't mean to bring the mood down, the Christmas mood down, but you know, pandemics tend to do that. All right. <sighs> Stay safe. Stay good. Be good to each other. And we will see you with a full crew 
a little differently. Next week. Next week. Bye, Christmas cunts. Bye.